it seems like a lot of people are interested in like the Halloween thing, even as adults. Like Can, Halloween parties? No, just like the whole, what would you call it? Like the feeling or the theme of oh, it? Oh, like the ho- holiday cheer type shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. Like it seems like a lot of people are into it. Like even grownups. It seems like grownups have Halloween parties and um, stuff like that, right? But to me, it's like, I was going to ask you, do you like horror, you know, it, it, as a genre or as a like horror videos, even if it's like ghost videos or horror movies? Is that something you're into? I wouldn't think I, f- I don't, I don't find joy. Like, you know how people are like, I love being scared. You know how they say that? Like yeah. the feeling of being terrified and that's why they like roller coasters and all that shit. Nah, I, I don't know. I just never, <laughs> I was never a fan. Like Halloween houses, you know, they, you go into this, through a house and then they fuck with you and they grab you and they shake you. They grab you, bend you over and what the. Oh shit. There's <laughs> a, um, that's too much. But like I'm saying something as simple as like horror movies. Like, do you enjoy them to the point where you're like, yeah, let me go watch this? Uh, I, I haven't, just because the last few that I've watched were all trash. Like, all, but I, okay, but the genre in general. I feel like, I mean, I feel like, I would say, yeah, I would say, yeah, because uh, um, from the like original, like paranormal activity, I felt like that shit was scary when I, we first watched it. And but was it enjoyable? I remember sitting there watching it. I guess I don't know. Well, we weren't enjoying it. I don't it. think we I was, scared. but it was just, it was scared, but you're still there watching it though. So you're being in So you're interested. There's an interest there, but your ass is scareder than a bitch. Uh, but like, it was the, I don't remember, but I don't really watch movies to, to be able to say like, oh, the latest three or four or whatever that came out. There's some of them that look nice, like the, the bubble dock, whatever. That was a the good one. Duck. See, yeah, like, that was one. enjoyable. Like, because it, it was scary. It was like interesting and it was scary. Uh, scary enough that you were like, okay, it was well made. It was a well made movie. And when you get well made movies, uh, it's, it's, you, I remember them. Cause now, like, what, what's the one that they, uh, the last, what's the paranormal up to? Four, five? I don't even know. The, Probably like seven or something. It was trash. Like, I remember the last one I watched, it was trash. And so it's like, and then like all the Jason and, and Freddy Krueger's and now even the Chucky's, they're just, they're not interesting no more. They need to bring back Leprechaun. Huh? Well, they, I think they are. I think they are, but um, there is, the last Leprechaun movie was, um, I think a couple of years ago. You don't remember that one? No. But they were remember I guy? bought it, but no, it's a different guy. Oh. But he played it, he played the role pretty good and it was pretty good, but. But Leprechaun was only scary as a kid. Like, as an adult, you're not scared of that. Well, it's only... Well, yeah, it's no longer scary. It's because, more like a comedy slash horror thing. Yeah, but it'd be funny, though. Like, like just like they did for, like, Leprechaun in the Hood and stuff, where it was, like, more of, like... It was more comedic than it's scary, but it was... It, it's uh, still enjoyable. Because, yeah, as a kid, you, as a kid, Leprechaun was scary because you're a kid. Nowadays, you know, Chucky and Freddy Krueger and all that shit is not scary anymore. I think the only thing that I find scary nowadays as an adult would be anything ghost related because it's something or like de- demonic shit like that, where it's like, especially when you believe in religion, that's the type of shit because you can relate to it. Like, oh, that shit might be real. So you don't want to fuck with anything, anything, you know, fuck with that. You just don't want to do it. You don't want to have anything to do with that type of shit. So to answer the que- <clears throat> question, are you a fan of horror? I would say, yeah. I would say uh, like one out of 10, I'll say probably like a six. I'm not going to search for it, but if it comes my way, you'll watch it. I would watch it. Hmm. I was going to say, because who, who, you know what I thought about? Um, Like who's to say, you know, when you, when you see a ghost, well, you don't see ghosts, but when you hear shit around the house or you see shit move, why is it that we automatically assume that it's um, like a, a human Spirit, you know, like it was formerly human. Why do we assume that? Like it was, I think it's either we assume that it used to live at one point and it's a spirit that like got left behind or is trapped, or it's a demon. Those are the two options. But you know, another thing, like, is it 
Is it going too far to say it can be alien activity? It it's I never thought about that. Because I alien feel like a lot of people bars. never never always assume it to that. But when you're seeing something moving, yet you can't see why it's moving, why has nobody said that's an invisible alien? Fucking with me. It's always no, that's a that's a form of human or a demon. That's a ghost. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's maybe because it we only think humans are ignorant to any other species that is the, that's a, that that intelligence. So it's always like the only thing that we that fits in our head that it's been said for all, throughout generations is ghost, ghost, ghost. Never like because I never even thought about that. It's a possibility that it could be an alien, right? It, it, if something moves, picks up and levitates, right? Automatically, my head's like, oh shit, there's a ghost here, right? Yeah. It's just, this place is haunted. But they could be an invisible motherfucker here that I can't even touch even if I hit with my wave my hand or whatever. And he's here le- picking the hat up, try, trying to fuck with us. I never even thought about it like that. But he doesn't even have to be here. Oh yeah, to lift it. If yeah, what if he's doing some shit some weird way to where we don't even know what the fuck he's doing, but he's making that hat levitate. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but it seems like we've came to like 100. percent It's it's either a human spirit that is trapped, right? Who, who somebody who passed away who is trapped, or it's a demon. It's never. It seems like never other options. I thought you were gonna you were gonna say animals, because if we, I don't never I never heard of anyone say a soul like an animal has a soul. I don't know. Or is that just a human thing? And if if it does, does that mean it can become a ghost? I don't know. That's assuming that the soul can even get trapped. Some people say that that's those are just demons. Those are not. Um, there's no way it can be a human. Yeah, there's no way that it's a human. You know, so a lot of times when people say, like they lose a family member and then they get a message. And they say, oh, like, I seen a video where somebody was like, my dad always said, like, whistle for help or something or something like, or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting it fucked up. But as the dude was going to work, he was like stepping off his front porch and he heard a whistle. And he, he he's like, that's my dad. Because he could link it to him. So, but like, and he's automatically assuming that it's his dad. But who's to say it's something else? Whistle for help? Maybe I'm getting that fucked up. Oh. You know, I'm I'm not too sure. But to me that's that's interesting. But like a lot of people take on the theme of like Halloween stuff. And you know what I seen, which was like pretty crazy, is like people are now using Jesus on their like decorations. You know, like um I seen where they were like uh they had Jesus beheaded and they had him on the, like a demon holding his head as like a decoration. And they had him on the cross and he was like uh, burning. And there was like little demons on the front yard. And it, it was his, his corpse was all bloody. And I was like, that's too far. Like, it just seems like, it just seems like people don't have the respect for Jesus like they do for every other religion. Like to the point where you're like knowing, right? I get it. Like you're trying to, if you don't believe in that, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Like seems going too far, going way too far. Like, see, like, I mean, when you see that, you're just like, oh, this dude is super lost. It, so it's, it's disrespectful. It's extremely disrespectful to the religion. And to Jesus? To anybody who believes in Jesus. Because not only do Christians believe in Jesus, Catholics do. Even Islam does. You know, so you to to have our prophet, right? Well, that's not our prophet. That's their prophet. Our God, because I believe Jesus is God. Like that, displaying them in that manner, that's mocking them. And to an extreme measure. So then it's like... Uh... So you're disrespecting a whole community. So it's like, 
And and to me, how is that acceptable? Yeah, if anybody gay bashes anybody, it's over. But yet, like if we if we mock God, what thousands and thousands of people believe is God, it's okay. And people have shown you like if you Google like I hate gays or something like that on TikTok, it will say this content is not allowed or something like that. And you can you Google, um, well not Google, just search. Um, I hate God or I hate Jesus, it's allowed. So it's crazy that, you know, how come certain people, certain people are not getting are not getting treated the same as far as respect level. That's because you need to I think the people who are most vocal need online, to say something. Well, I think the people who are the most vocal online tend to be the people who are more of the of the woke fucking you gotta do this this way and or, or we're gonna ban you from everywhere and any, everywhere anywhere that you put have a platform that that's how they're gonna do it but so you're saying that the if, it, if the roles were reversed and it was like and it was like uh because we're talking about like we're talking about what Thousands and thousands of people believe it's God. Yeah, you can mock him on social media. Yet for having an opinion on the gay stance, right? You get banned. You get banned. Not saying that you shouldn't be able to have an opinion. Like if you have an opinion, you can have an opinion, right? But it's like, like, and and I use I'm just using gay as an example because it's like gay is probably like some of the strongest communities out here right now. So I'm just using that as an example because it's like why I, it's just my question is why is some things not allowed and some things allowed when they both do the same thing? It disrespects a huge community. Yeah, why is it only care to one side? You know, I understand if you if you have some things to say, you know, about Jesus, even if, even if it's negative because we live in America, I may not agree with what you're saying, but when you're spreading hate, right, or you're doing something like that, what I just explained, how is that not like banned to say we don't allow this type of content on any social media platform? Because it disrespects a huge amount of people. I think if they're not vocal, though, if they're not vocal, they, they're they probably not going to do shit. But why do they have to be vocal? Because that's the only way you get people to think. No, I understand. But I'm saying, why can't it just be like, hey, you know, when, when you read these policies of like, we like to protect our um, our users, right? As far as like, make sure they're safe and all that bullshit, they say, how come it's not applied everywhere? Tell it disrespectful. I never, I never, people, people do, I think that they do all that without really thinking. I don't think they're thinking. I don't think they see it as bad. I don't think they see it as disrespect. That's why they do it. Probably, probably, you know, and um, they just see it as like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to make my shit look scary. And what's more scarier than, you know, saying that God is not here type shit. And that's the, the thing they're going for. I mean, I guess, but I, I but it still doesn't. It doesn't. It just doesn't, it doesn't make doesn't sense justify, to me. Yeah, it doesn't justify your actions. Yeah, because it's it's yeah. If it, it just, I don't know. It just feels wrong. It feels when anything Jesus related. When you, but it just seems like um, it just seems like they don't do it to other religions. Yeah, but it's just because the Christianity is probably the pop, most popular. It is. And then uh, especially over here in America. And because it's the most popular, it's the most... Uh, Ma- it, it's gonna, it has to be the most mocked because it's the mo- if it's well-known, it's, it's really popular in a specific region. Um, people are going to relate to it. And when you anti it, people automatically know what you're talking about. But there's about. also consequences to mocking other people's uh, prophets or gods 
it's also consequences to that. Like in different countries. In different maybe. countries, yeah. But even here, like I'm pretty sure somebody slap you up, you know, but it's like but the people who follow Jesus, Jesus says to like basically let them be. Like let revenge be on him. Yeah, that's why that's that's why because it wouldn't be Jesus like to go slap a motherfucker, but he I'm sure somebody would do it if 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 it was enough like tension and shit. But uh, I think I but think, even then I think God would just like, be Jesus like, would be like a hey, like if I seen that person, <laughs> I'm not gonna smack him. Because I don't gain nothing from that smack. You know, like and I don't think he does. Yeah, he's gonna hurt, but like he's not gonna learn. You know, so I, that's why I feel like, you know, violence isn't the answer to to get a solution or get something fixed. I just I just came across that and I was like, wow. But the whole going back to the whole theme, right? Because like I was telling you how people um, enjoy Halloween. I came across like a bunch of videos of like ghost related things. And to me, I don't know, like it goes back to what I said before about like every time I see ghost videos now, it's just it's just so hard to believe, especially because some of these videos are a little over the top and uh, they make big claims. But I can't lie. When I watch these videos, it's a little scary. I can't lie. Remember the- sometimes like for before I cut you off a bit, sometimes like do you do you ever um have you ever came across a uh a scary video and it's scary. So you go to the comments no. to block the video. So you're still staying in the video, but you pulled up the comments so you can read the comments, see what people are saying about the video, but you're not watching the video because you're kind of scared. Mm, no, no, uh-huh. oh, I've done that a couple of times. My shit, my shit. Yeah, I don't really ever get freaking scary videos on my shit. Never? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's, 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 uh, yeah. It, it it'll it, it seems like scary shit's never on popping there. over you. Ghost shit, yeah. Alien stuff, maybe sometimes. It pops up on my shit, and it's like I don't I don't search for that shit. But maybe just because you sit there and watch it. Yeah, maybe because it hits the algorithm. But like, let's watch some of these videos because <clears throat> I want to get um like your thoughts on it. Just like the baby one that we did. Remember the, remember the lady, remember who the lady, I'm not sure which country was, it was a different country where like uh, the, the cops came, they had video and the cops came and she was like in the attic or some shit. And you heard that she, 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 her ass was running on. Uh, on uh, yeah. Yeah. Did everywhere. we play that on here? I don't remember. And, and then. Oh, I think I just showed you that in my room. And right? then, and then the lady's head popped down. And was like, rah, rah. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. That was probably, if that was a, a an authentic clip, that's probably a, like a. A well made if it, no okay reverse if that fucking clip if that thing was real because it, it seemed really real uh that's that's probably like the best footage that I've seen of like some demonic shit and if it was made it was really really well made because it fooled me I I still think it's real to this day I think it was real like they arrested the girl like the cops didn't say this is a demonic thing they said this is a crazy lady in her attic. Doing all these things, making all these scary noises, yelling and shit. But it, her her voice is like and she got fucking arrested. dead on when it comes to like possession. Women, not huh? like women is so much scarier than men. Like if you think of movies, like I can't think of a possessed man that was incredibly scary, right? Because when you think of women, they're all the scariest ones, scary. right? Even from Why? the Exorcist. Why like, are they so scary though? I don't know. Like women possess women or possess little girls. Possessed little girls and are scarier, but possessed women are way scarier than possessed men. Like, why? Why is that such a thing? And I wonder if it's universal or if this is just us. Because possessed, if I seen a girl possessed and I seen a dude possessed, and they're like both trying to come at me. So if you woke up in the middle of the night and you look up, right, and you see a man standing there and you can like see through him, but you can see the shadow, right? But you can tell enough to where you know this is a man. To where if it was a girl, which would you be more afraid? By the girl. Something about the the long hair. And like the, and like, I don't know. I have no idea why the image of a, of a possessed girl is way scarier than a dude. 
I, that's weird, huh? I don't know. I don't know I'll either. Fight, I'll fight the dude. You'll fight the dude? I'll probably have... Well, you have to fight. The girl, I'll just give up. I'll just be like, do what you want to me. <laughs> do, do you believe that ghosts will fuck with you if you believe in them? You think it gives them power type shit? To say, yeah, like if you say, I believe in them, but you don't. And we're in a haunted house. Who's 100% haunted. Do you think they'll fuck with me more than they'll fuck with you? I... I would, I would, I would say, no. I would say they would try to fuck with both of us. If they were actually real, I think they would try to fuck with, with both of us. But I feel like it would be a lot more scarier for you because you'd be on high alert. And every little, small little thing that it wasn't even them, you would, you would you say would it's think them. it's them. Yeah. Because remember like that, uh, that BuzzFeed video series? Oh, yeah. About one guy believed in it and the other guy didn't. Yeah. And he would be like, come on, give me demons and shit like that. <laughs> and he would like sit... In like the places where they Pitch did rituals black, and yeah. shit. And he would lay down. Oh, yeah. And he's like, I don't believe in nothing. Yeah. He'd be like, this is the perfect time. Yeah, I'm all alone. <laughs> yeah, that dude was funny. But it's crazy, right? Because it seemed like, um, I don't know. I just think I just think maybe it, like if they do exist, maybe they would see the fucking with the person that does believe. Because they maybe they give them the reaction that they want. If If, it, if they fed off of it. Like if, if they either, either if it was like energy or, or even just enjoyment. If they get for fucking with you. Yeah. Then, then more than likely they'd probably fuck with you more because they're getting reactions out of it. So if they, if they get, I used to think like when, when something ghostly shit happens, don't be scared. I'd be like, don't be scared because these motherfuckers probably get power from it. Yeah. Like when someone, something happens nowadays. Um, I tend to walk towards it, you know, because it's like when weird shit happens or I hear strange noises, I'm like, I can't be afraid. Like, what is that? A lot of times I just assume it's, um, a person because I'm like, if that's a person and my ass is scared to go check it out. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Hey, Alexa, shut the hell up. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but let's watch a couple of these videos because I have a couple of them. Strange creatures. You know, some things that like, and, and and it seems like, it just seems like you could fake anything, but let's watch it and let's see what you think on, certain, on this one. These farmers were shocked to find a strange creature attached to one of their goats. They try and remove it with a stick. As the goat walks out, so they're like pulling on something. The creature, and it seems like this shadow underneath that goat, it appears to is be attached black, to it. Look, with long arms. Oh, it kind of looks like a, of that. It kind of looks like a bat, right? After several, oh, I don't know what that is. The men finally free the creature. Right, they get it, and, and then they, look how it slithers away. But things just get stranger as it seems to slither and slide along the ground. You like see that? A snake, like that's crazy. Very fast. Like what Slowing is that? The footage, um, what is this creature? And if this is fake, right? How you fake this? And then with especially, someone running doing this. Yeah, exactly. maybe. But that looked weird. How it was moving on the goat. I mean, I don't know. This part, I don't know. But the first part seemed like a lot harder to, to, to fake to because it's moving when the goat is like and they're hitting it with sticks and stuff, trying to get it off. And then something about it being somewhere like in the middle of nowhere. Go back to the where they paused it because it does look like a big ass bat. That's what I thought. Like it looked look like a bat. But... Look, and it's got something black, wrapped around the back, arms too. That wrap around the body of the goat. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. It's like legs. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, I didn't notice that. After and it moves. Attempts, the men finally free the creature, and it dashes away from them. But things just get stranger, as it seems to slither and slide along the ground like a snake. It's pretty fast, too. Very fast. It almost looks like there was somebody Throwing in the, the woods footage, there. It's to slither. That's just me. Free the creature. As it seems to slither and slide along the ground like a snake. Oh, damn. I passed it. Oh, right there. You seen that? Yeah. 
but I don't think it was. But oh, yeah, it's just a tree. But oh, I think it's some like uh, clothing they have there. Like a snake, but moving very fast, slowing the footage. What is this? But this is one thing that I saw that I was like, hmm, you know, because normally, normally when people try to fake shit, it's normally always the same shit, like something falling, or the door opening by itself, or you know, some shit weird happening in the house. And this, you know, especially with the camera and the low lighting, seems weird to me. Huh? This is where I wonder where the hell. I don't this know is. where this is. But they had a camera with lights and everything, right? And the camera. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And it doesn't look like it have like a don't look like a rich place because they have. Yeah, bamboo. because why would they bring the light though? Well, it means unless nighttime. it's been stuck there for a while, and they're like, "Hey, come record it," right? Because it seems like when you come in an encounter with something like that. Your thing is not to record. Your no. first thing is like, hey, go get the camera. No. It's like, what the fuck is that? Let's kill it. Yeah. Let's figure out what that is. Yeah. Yeah. But even that, like, that's some bravery right there. If this is real, if this is some weird shit, because if, if we had goats and I see some <laughs> shit like that attached to it, I'm not going out there. I'm killing Especially the goat. Especially in the night time. I'm killing the goat. You're killing the goat? Why? Yeah. Because to let them eat it? Because it probably now it's, uh, it's possessed. It can be infected. Or it can be infected, poisoned, or it can just be like bad luck. I would have just, I would just, uh, well, it depends it. on what are you using the go for. Yeah, I would still, I would just kill it just because it's over. Yeah, he got chosen by the freaking nasty monster. Whatever that shit is. Yeah. It just seems weird. And, and do you believe that like we found every creature on earth? No. Like it's know. been discovered. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's still shit on the animals. I feel like it, mainly in the Amazon, mainly in the Amazon, but also in the ocean. Mainly the ocean. Yeah, mainly the ocean, but on the land is the Amazon, and some mountain, some mountain somewhere that no one's been in forever. So let's see. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> Number two. There's more scary shit. This is more weirdo shit. Like. Um, can you hear it? I don't know if it's loud enough. No. Well, I don't think there's no sound. Maybe that's why. On this right here. Too scared to open my door. Come here. Come here. Heard my own voice calling from the other room. What is it? Can't hear shit. I heard the girl's voice a little bit. The reason I had to move out of my flat. I was home alone. That's a cat. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. This one was a little weird, but I mean, it's like, this can be easily fake. It's just knocking. Look what the girl says. I can hear that. You heard that? She said help. Yeah, like somebody whispered that. Gabe, it's your mother. You should come out. Then what's your name then? Uh, you stumped me there, huh? She's like, she she didn't say shit. She said what? She said she's calling the I think the dog or somebody to come out. And then she's like, well, because he's saying this is your mom, and she's like, well, what's your name then? If you're if you're my mom, and she didn't say nothing, you know. But because it's not as loud, I don't think you get the scary effect from the hell. Like yeah. That? Because when, when I watched this, I was like, fuck, this shit was kind of scary. But it's probably because that shit was super low. But I mean, this one could easily be faked, huh? There's nothing really supernatural there's not, about there's, it. There's nothing really... Nothing. That, can, that can't be recreated. Right in the beginning, the shadow. And then... I mean, the dog, it seems like people always use animals as the convincer, right? Because they'd be like, oh, look, at the, even the dog reacted. I seen videos of like this. There was like a a, a little Chinese lady, little China, no, little Chinese baby girl, 
and she was looking at the way at, at her in the mirror and then she turned around and the 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 image of her was still in place and um and then she and then she looks back and then and then it goes back to normal but i don't i don't know if there's any tricks with software that you can freeze a specific area yeah you can do anything mm-hmm. pretty much like you can you can you can manipulate everything and it just seems like it just comes down to like it's kind of hard to believe huh a lot of things are just hard to believe I don't know how you would fully get us on board or anybody on board to like, this is a hundred percent concrete proof that there's ghosts. In, uh, in Brazil, I was watching Mr. Bonin video and there's, he, he was saying something about like in, in the eighties, there was a shit ton of UFO sightings. I mean, there's in Brazil, there's a bit shit ton of UFO sightings anyways, but he was watch he was telling uh, a story about, uh, there's a bunch of cows getting like killed randomly and they were getting their organs vacuumed out, vacuumed out of little holes that they would have after they would be found dead. Why? I don't know. They vacuumed? Have, that's what he said, vacuum. Oh. But they would have holes. They would have no organs, right? No internal organs. Oh, okay. You're saying, you're just explaining how they were found? Yeah, how the, oh, how the, how okay. the cows were found. And they had holes and it seemed like they used some type of suction to suck everything out from the inside. And then they would have their, their jaw missing this piece here. And, uh, and uh, it was in uh, 1988. They said that they found a dude like that. And, uh, the mm. government, uh, took them and then tried to hide the story because they were like, uh, they couldn't explain how the fuck this happened. And they didn't want the people to be scared. And be like, oh shit! Like the aliens are doing this shit to humans now. Uh, so they 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 took it, and the only reason they found out was because there was a guy in the government that leaked the shit, and that's how people found out. But I'm like, to think that it's like you can just and you're done. Shit sucked out of your ass and sucked out of everywhere. The like the aliens are bad people. If it's aliens, because this could be a human thing. But it's, it would be weird to be, how would you suck some, like, and his organs were all sucked out. Same as the cows with three holes. They have three holes. In the, in the Maybe stomach. somebody's developing this weird machine. And is trying it out on random animals. And then he's like, let me try it out on a human. That's the final test. And it worked. And he's like, oh, shit, it worked. But it just seems like when you see something like that, because we're used to humans doing wild shit, we have to assume it was human. You know, because it's like if if there wasn't shit like that going around in the world, then you would be like, okay, this this is not us. We don't do this type of shit. You know, but because humans do too, like all this weird shit. So I would say like you would have to go human route first. But then again, like, what happened? Did that person did not have family or what? The one that was taken? What happens there? Did they have? Did they have to shush the family or what? I don't, I don't think they let them know who it was. I just tell them we're investigating this shit because we don't know what the fuck it was. They said it was a. They just they don't they didn't give a name. They just said it was a a, a fisherman. They just said it was a fisherman that got drunk and he died from over drinking. That's all they said. They didn't say anything about names or age or any of that shit or how he like no at, uh, autopsy and, and then they and they sanitized the fuck out of the place where they found his ass. Oh yeah, why? I don't like know. Uh, just cleaned it, made made it seem like nothing ever happened there. You know how usually they keep the 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 because usually when some murder happens, they seal the shit off and, yeah, then, and investigate. Yeah, a thorough to make sure that a hundred percent they got all clues or whatever. That's weird how the government treats certain things and reacts to certain shit. They, the government said that uh, they they did that because they felt that the population, at least in that village, that little area, that they were going to go crazy because they were, they were, the shit was happening to cows for a long time. And, and then, then all of a sudden it started happening to humans that they were going to panic. That's why they, that's what they said, but. But is you are you really protecting the community by not letting them know about something? Is that re- like you think that's really 
And I think the government does that more so, so they don't have to explain do shit. more work. Because work is expensive. You think so? You think they're just like, we don't know what the fuck happened and we don't want to look into it? Or what? Like, we don't know what we don't know what to do and they're going to expect us to do something. And it's going to make us look bad. And they're not going to, they're not going to revote us into office. That's why they hide shit. I don't know. That's a little weird. But here's another one. Um, this one I watched recently. I think I watched this um, either today or Our yesterday. house smells like rotten eggs. Damn, my eye. Something's in my eye. Shit's got me good. But yeah, but this is girl who's um who's like <laughs> sleeping on the couch, parents supposedly. And um she gets like she awakes and then certain shit starts happening in her house. Here, let's watch it. <laughs> <laughs> So she wakes up and she smells something. Yeah. And immediately picks up her phone. She probably farted. I don't know. And then nobody. Yeah. She probably had a, a whopper. Hey, oh, shit. What took you so long to answer? Dude, the house smells like literally like rotten eggs. Like it literally smells like you forgot to take the trash out or something. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. Like, I literally feel like I'm about to sleep. I was just taking a nap, and the house smells disgusting. Right, the house smells like shit. Yeah, I'll open the door. I don't know if I'm going to do much, though. <sighs> the door's open. I don't know. I need a fan or something. You need to get home and, like, air, like, do something in here. Did you take the trash out? It's just, it's just... What the fuck, baby? The lights are fucking flickering now, dude. You seen the cross? Stop. No. What the fuck? The cross went upside down. Baby! Right? Like, let's see. Let's look at it again. It just went, did this? Yeah, it just did the spin. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. Like, I literally feel like I'm about to pee. I was just taking I'm about to pee? Right? Like, okay, well, let's watch it and then let's talk about it. Yeah, I'll open the door. I don't know if I'm going to do much, though. Because just look at the cross, right when they start flickering. The door's open. I don't know. I need a fan or something. You need to get home and like air, like do something in here. Do something. The huh? It's the man's fault. Right, starts what flickering. The fuck, look baby? at the cross. The lights are fucking flickering now, dude. Goes upside baby, down. Stop. Oh, what the fuck? She didn't even see that though. Baby. She turned around and she seen it. She turned around and she seen it, but she didn't see it move. No, no, she didn't see it move. Yeah, because that, that's that. abnormal. Like usually, if it if it feels like this and it fell down like this, then I'd be like, okay, if it's like I can, you can say gravity. You can say like, right, but you can't say gravity when the shit okay. moves up. Okay, first, first, fake or real? In your opinion, I think it's fake. I think it's fake too. Um, I think there's plenty of ways. She didn't to have do no that. socks on. No, that makes it fake. You can tell it's fake right there. But people don't sleep with socks on. And and well, she looks like she does. <laughs> and oh, and damn. she was and she woke up like this. <laughs> damn. She's like, damn. You mm. remember that? Yeah, in the beginning. She's like, damn. And then she cut why why? And then this is this is also like a weird thing. Like, but it's believable. What made it believable for me was when she told her husband or whatever, you need to come home. And like fan it out or something. Do like, something. Like, yeah, like you got to fix this. You're right. Wherever the fuck you are, it doesn't matter. You need to come home and fix this. Because I, for whatever reason, she can't do anything. It's got to be the man to come home and fix it. <laughs> like, bro, like you open up the windows and turn your fucking ceiling fan on. It, it was on, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on. And then she, like, she acts like she, there's the same tools are not within her reach. Whatever, whatever he's going to use, you could have used. It just, the, I think the way they could have faked this. <clears throat> is by putting a magnet on the back of the cross and then being on the other side. Think that would work? Yeah, that would work if it's strong enough. But like, why fake shit, huh? Why tension? Just views. But like, what does it do? Even if it gives you views, like what does it do for you? You know how when people get like, oh, my, my picture got a thousand likes, whatever the fuck. 
then they get like oh like this this they get the dopamine like yeah. the yeah that shit real that's 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 what they chase more than likely that's like uh and then that probably leads to money in their eyes likes yeah but like um to get paid like you have to have a good amount of following and you got to do multiple videos so i mean if you're faking this shit nonstop i mean there's a couple of people who just upload paranormal shit and say they're haunted whatever and people follow them to try to debunk them and say that they're liars or follow them just because they genuinely believe that they're they're being haunted by something right so it just seems like if it's fake like what's the reasoning behind it to do it if it's just views now if you got a whole channel about ghost videos or haunted shit it makes more sense but if you just put one video out it's a little more like hmm huh? and then you move on with your life then you're posting normal shit again and then you're like that shit just happened to me and I posted it that's more believable when it's just a single video but I don't know it just it just I don't know that that just seems like uh, it, it, I don't know. It's the the whole cross going like that seems too smooth with it for it to be fake, like movie I shit. Mean, real, I mean, you think? Yeah, movie you shit. think if there was something that had power, it would struggle? No, it had to be something like see, it seems too precise. Like it didn't like go over. It stayed really. You no, know, like if she woke up and then like the lights the lights flickered. And she's like, oh shit. And then and then she screamed for her husband, right? And then she did she she the video shows her something hit her. Boom. She does a 180 flip, lands on her neck, and now she can't walk for the rest of her life. And it's all on video. Then you're like, okay, did they, they how the fuck they fake this? She even can't well, walk. Well, there, no there are people who be like, well, they try to fix video and in the process, she accidentally broke her neck by going too far. And then now they're just riding it out. Like, but if it because showed, there's no point now. If they Sherry showed, put, if the video showed no signs of, of, but it's because uh, it's a video. I know, but there's people who analyze shit and they can say it's authentic, right? Doesn't mean that I'm not sure how good that is. But right, because they say the Bigfoot shit, the first video, the fucking whatever video, they say it walks like nothing we yeah, seen. But I just said but, the video is authentic. But as far as somebody being in a suit and shit, that could still be a possibility. Oh, okay, but. I, if it was, if it led to something where you can't, like, go, like, why would she lose her arm type shit? Why would she cut for a video? Would she cut her whole fucking arm off? Like, if she was being held on the wall like this? No, I mean, but you're I'm like, saying if it, if it happened mistakenly. No, I know, but if, if it was for real, like, ghost shit and, like, something, someone of her size was lifted up and put on the wall like this, and then she lost one of her hands, boom. And she and then she went to, and then she cut the next day. And it's like oh, my arm's gone, and it's all caught on video. You'd be like, "What the fuck was that?" Then it'd be crazy believable because she ain't got an arm no more, and she weighed about three hundred. She was up in the air. Dang. I don't know. I don't know. So like, uh, we watched three videos, and out of those three, what all fake, right? In your opinion, I feel like the most. Or which one's the most no, real? One? That first one with the goat. Okay, that's the most like oh shit, what the fuck is that? Especially on the way it moved and and how it was like long, wrapped like, around around the goat, goat. they yeah. hugging that motherfucker. It was trying to eat him. It was trying to do something to him. It was trying to get freaky with him. It was trying to make fucking little bat goat. <laughs> it, it seems like it seems like that's the woods, shit, huh? Why yeah, is that always the woods? Woods are always scary, and that's freaking and freaking will survive. That motherfucker feeling that oh, right shit, now, yeah. When he's like, oh, the, something's coming into the camp and fucking up my balls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking up my balls. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, he said he's funny. He's like, he's like, look, he look, he point, he points the camera at the, at his cabin. And he's like, I got it. I got everything I need. He's like, now all I, he said, I, I could, I have everything I would ever want. He's like, now I just need to grow some Saza, some Saza. Yeah. And get a bit and then it, yeah, it cuts off. <laughs> Yeah, I seen that too. It's funny. funny. So, um, <clears throat> the first one was scary. The the that she was kind of gay, like not interesting. I mean, it was kind of scary at first. The knocking, anything knocking, and they go open the door. It always tends like I'm always thinking she's gonna be scary because I'm always expecting a fucking 
the like a jump, jump scare, huh? yeah, jump like scare. it's a movie or yeah. something. But the first, so far, the first one only. You remember? Have you ever seen this video? You ever seen this video? Um, Is it a Chinese lady? I don't girl? know if this was the Mexican one. You know, I just seen it as I was putting up the other videos, and I was like, "We'll have it as like a bonus video." But I remember this video, but I don't know which one exactly is. So it's, let's watch it and then we'll give our thoughts on this one. Yeah. So they saw something, apparently. I just turned off the lights, that's all. But then why are you filming that? What was that? Yeah. Was that a light or is that just me? Nani, are you almost done eating? It seems like there was a light Look or something. Me. Behind the lady? Yeah, behind the girl. Look at me. I don't think this is the one I saw. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. But you gotta listen to me. Turn around. Look at me. What's the matter? <laughs> Children screaming, huh? It's always something. Oh, it's not, it's not the same. Way. But what is the mom doing, right? Yeah, yeah like, why is she laughing? Is she laughing? Yeah. No, that's the girl who's laughing. No. Oh, uh, I, I don't think it was the one, because the one, the one I seen, there was a girl like similar. Thing, choosing down, and then she gets yanked. The little girl does. Yeah, the little girl gets yanked, and I think it was um, Mexicans. I think it was Mexicans because uh, I believe they were talking Spanish. But when she got yanked, the mom ran in there, and I was like, "That's mom shit, right?" Mom, mom ran in there and grabbed her and pulled her out and ran back, and they were just like, "What the heck happened, right?" Because she got yanked. And why is like uh, when like it's way more believable when it's a kid. Something happens to a kid because you would think that yeah, <clears throat> you would think that the average parent, right, or like let's say like ninety nine percent of parents would not want would not allow their kid to be in harm's way for the purpose of a video. But how would they be in harm's way if it's fake? Uh, well, I guess. Uh, well, I guess if it's like if you have the safety it's all precautions planned out and you tell the kid like, "Hey, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna do a video, right? And we want you to be scared." Yeah, but now, I'm gonna yank the fuck out of you. We're gonna yank the fuck out of you. You might, you might get hurt. Yeah, but what, uh, it seems it seems like you're thinking as if all parents are good parents. There's a lot of shitty parents out here who do a lot of like things. Eighty percent. There's some shit that like we've been told that is unbelievable. You know, like um, what people do with their kids. No, just yeah, like what like people what they are do willing, or are willing to do just for money, money. or whatever yeah. like that. And um, yeah, it's just like it's that's what I'm saying. That's why it's hard for me to see like your point of view of saying like. Yeah, like everybody wouldn't want to see their kid get hurt. Yeah, because I'm like, if, I wouldn't for for what for for an attention for for money, attention, likes, or views. That shit, that's retarded. Never, my kid get yanked. Hell no, for nothing. I think my kid, even if it was just a set like a movie, like even when, if you're gonna get yanked like that and with force, yeah, I'd be like, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm with that, you know. You know, I'd probably be like, nah, you'd probably have to find somebody else for that. Yeah, I would, I would never, unless they cut a good check. For the check, you'd do it? 
for the for my boy. Put it to shit for your boy for, for a check. I've always thought like you know how scary movies, well they're scary, right? Scary movies are scary, but are they scary in the making? That's my mm. question. So if you're the actor or actress who's playing the main character while scary shit is going on around you, is it actually scary while it's happening? Because it is still happening, right? Even if it, you know this is fake, right? If this, if we know that the lights are all going to turn off and then things are going to start spinning and the TV is going to start spinning, it's still going to put you in a certain like a- atmosphere. You know, even though you know it's fake, is it scary for you? Or is it just because... Maybe there's so many cuts. That, maybe, uh, maybe it would depend on how often you're doing these type of movies. Because I think for a first timer, I think it has to be scary. Because a lot of shit, it's your, it's no longer what you're accustomed to. It's just weird shit happening, and then all of a sudden, some some motherfucker in makeup comes up and and it has to murder you. And he he's doing it everything with aggression, like a real motherfucker would. It just seems like it'd be it'd be a lot easier to be act acting scared because you'd probably be a little scared. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think so. I don't know. I'd be tight to look at though. Do last question then when the shit. Um, do Mexicans celebrate Halloween like others do? No. Uh, and by do I mean that? I mean um, getting candy. No, Mexicans get candy. They give candy? Yeah, 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 they give candy. They get candy I mean, I, or they give candy candy? Probably both. Like candy candy? Oh, shit, no, not that type of candy. Oh. But um, you're putting a bad rep on our people. Oh, I, that's <laughs> what I meant, and you said, yeah. No, oh. well, you said candy candy. What the candy, fuck? Candy candy. That's that's booger sugar. That's That's some other shit. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the AB Podcast. You can follow us in the links below. All our social medias are linked there. If you want to buy some merch, the merch that we're usually wearing in the podcast, you can buy it as well. The link will be below.